Internal graphics are easy to use and allow you to make an artistically beautiful body with little or no skill. The items you're going to need to finish an internal graphics body are a hair dryer, internal decals, permanent marker, hobby knife, Lexan scissors, two cans of polycarbonate paint, masking tape, and a body with window masks. When laying out internal graphics, try to start and finish the graphic in a neutral area such as body cut lines, wheel wells, or windows as this will allow you to separate different colors without messy lines or fades, making the finished product look more professional. You are now ready to apply the graphics to the inside of the body. Peel some of the graphic away from its backing and cut a small section of the backing away. Place the graphic within the body in the desired location and press the exposed section of the adhesive decal down. Fold the graphic up, remove the rest of the backing, and slowly roll the graphic into the body, being careful not to get air bubbles. Once all the graphics are on the body, you need to trim them where they overlap the window masks. So after you are done painting and you remove the masks, you don't pull the internal graphics off with them. Use a sharp hobby knife to carefully cut the graphic along the window mask line and remove the excess portion that overlaps the window mask. You should go over all of the internal graphics with your finger and make sure they are firmly pressed down within the body. Since we are painting a two color internal graphics body, we must mask off the section that we don't want to paint right now. Use high quality painter's masking tape to completely cover the front portion of the body, making sure there are no openings that could allow paint to bleed through. Rub down the edges of the internal graphics and the window masks one last time and you are ready to paint. The first coat of paint should be very light to seal the edges of the graphics and the masks. Use a hair dryer in between thin coats to dry the paint quicker. Since we used a fluorescent color here, we have to back it with white to make it brighter and to ensure it is fully opaque. Use the hair dryer one last time to fully dry all the paint and you are ready for the next step. Peel off all the masking tape to expose the front of the body for the next color. Rub your finger along the graphics and window masks once again to ensure paint will not bleed onto them and you are ready for the final paint. Apply the second color of paint in the same manner as the first by doing an initial light dusting followed by slightly heavier coats of paint with a hair dryer used in between for drying. Once the paint is fully cured, you can remove the window masking and outer protective film. Cut the body out with curved Lexan scissors by trimming along the cut lines molded in by the manufacturer and mount the finished body onto your car. You have now successfully completed an internal graphics body.